Hello everyone. In this uh, video, I am going to show you how to create this kind of sheet metal foaming part in uh, SolidWorks. To create this kind of sheet metal foaming part, first we need to model the foaming die. So in this video, I am going to explain how to create the foaming die, then how it save in a design library, so then how it used to form this kind of sheet metal. Okay, let's close this one. Go to part drawing new. Select the top, top plane, the sketch, draw a circle, let's take the circle diameter as 180, okay, features extrude, let's take the thickness as uh, 10, okay, let's take uh, Again, select this face and go to sketch. Draw a circle. Let's take its diameter as 90. Okay. Go to extrude. Let's take its uh, extrude length as uh, 30. Click OK. Let me change the appearance. Plain white. Let's take. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, introduce the fillet for this edge. Let's take uh, fillet. Let's take its uh, fillet radius as uh, five millimeter. Yeah, slight increase. Let's take uh, increases to ten millimeter. Yeah. Okay, let's introduce the fillet for this one also. Fillet 5 millimeter. Let's take the 5 millimeter fillet. Okay, select this face and the go to sketch. Then uh, select the vertical center line. Vertical center line. Click OK, then draw the circle. Circle dimension, let's take it as circle dimension as 15. Let's, uh, let's increase to 20. Let's take the circle uh, diameter as 20. Let's take the, this dimension. As 70. Let's extrude this one. Extrude. Let's take extrude length as uh, 6 millimeter. Okay. Let's introduce the fillet for this edge. Fillet. Let's take the fillet radius as uh, 2 millimeter. Let's take this one also. Let's take the fillet. Fillet radius as 2 mm. Then this uh, one we are going to pattern, circular pattern around this uh, cylinder. Let's take uh, pattern, a uh, circular pattern. The direction, select this uh, edge, it automatically select the center axis. So number four, so ninety degree apart. We are going to model. So the entities to uh, features and uh, faces together. Uh, pattern. Select this one. Go to <coughs> select all of these. This one and this one. Click OK. Here, this is our foam die. Okay. So then we are going to save it in a design library. Okay, first step they call this the stopping face in forming in stamping. This is the stopping face we are selecting. The faces to remove, these are the faces we are going to remove in uh, trimming by trimming in forming. Okay, this is our forming line. 
I then uh, save it in a design library. In here, I got to save it under Forming Tools. Under the Forming Tool, let's create the new one. Forming Tool 3. Okay. Then go to File, uh, Save All. Select the Save Type as a Forming Tool. It's so automatically direct to the Design Library. In the Design Library, you have to select the uh, folder. Forming tools. This is the folder I created. Just take the uh, tool, tool one. Save. Now it uh, this uh, forming tool has saved in a design library. Then uh, we can import in any time. You can see our uh, tool forming tool. Okay, let's see how to uh, form a sheet metal using this uh, forming. Right. Let's open the part drawing again. Then uh, go to sketch uh, top plane, sketch, draw a circle. Let's take the dimension as 180. Then click on this uh, base flange. So then uh, select the Sheet metal thickness as uh, 1 millimeter. So keep other parameters as it is. Click OK. Let me change the appearance. Okay, this is the sheet metal. So then uh, we are going to insert our forming die to form this uh, sheet metal. So the click on this uh, tool we created. So then drag and drop it on this uh, sheet metal. Here you can see it has inserted to a sheet metal. So then uh, thing is uh, we have to position it. So go click on this uh, position. Then uh, click on escape. Then go to this uh, origin, click on this origin point. So then the click on this uh, die origin point. So then, then click coincide. So then the both the points are coincided. You can see it's a perfectly coincide sheet metal and the die. So then click on, so then click OK. Here you can see our form part created this is how we are using foam in dye in solidworks to create the sheet metal foam part if you learn something from this video please like the video if you want to see more video in mechanical engineering subtract to top make see you next time thank you